guys, it's Brittany at Ink and Papyrus and today we're going to be making some really cute Christmas postcards. Um, this is the basic structure of a postcard in case anyone has forgotten. I am going to make these postcards with some old um, magazines that I have that are Christmas themed. One is Better Home and Gardens, the other is uh, Southern Living. I also have some other images I wanted to use and a couple bits and bops and embellishments and some fussy cut things. So let's get to it. So guys, first you should know that this tutorial is really inspired by um, one of the tutorials that Natasha at Treasure Books did. I love her stuff. Um, a while back she had used some magazine images to create some postcards. Um, and I thought, well, why not make some Christmas theme postcards? So that's what we'll be doing today. A couple things you want aside from images and decorations you're going to be using to create your postcards. You are going to want a pen, you will want a ruler to make a straight line, and you're going to want some thicker paper, probably some cardstock that are sort of square slash rectangle, rectangular in shape. Um, I believe these are six and a half by four and a half. My uh, postcards are going to be sewn. I will do that off camera. Obviously you don't have to sew these, um, but I think it makes for a more polished look. And then you'll want a glue stick. Okay, so first let's just go through these magazines and just point out a couple of images I think would make really good postcards. Um, this horse-drawn carriage I thought was really pretty. This little girl looking at Santa mail. It's it's oh or getting ready to mail her letter I guess you would say. Um, it's okay if it doesn't fill up the entire uh, postcard. Um, we're not going to be using just these images. We're going to embellish them with some other things. Um, some phrases would be nice. A city of good cheer. Um, winter wonderland. These are words and phrases you can cut out that I think would look nice. Um, now that's a Christmas vacation. Um, these doors, believe it or not, I think if you um, cut around them and find a way to make them the focal point of the postcard, I think that could be really lovely. Uh, obviously, I don't need to say anything about this. Like, gorgeous. These ceramic trees, yes, very antique, kind of vintage looking. Some place settings. Look at this plate, how cool. Making tables bright. <laughs> um, the M&M, like, just think the fun that you could have with this postcard. Really, like, enough said. This is uh, from some, this is a cross-stitch uh, pattern, um, but I was also thinking of using these potentially. This is from a magazine. Um, even the cover here I think would make a really nice postcard, these cookies. Let me just flip through and we'll show you a couple more. If all else fails, make an appointment at your doctor's office and steal some of their magazines. Um, these are cute. Obviously, you would have to either make this the focal point or just make a really itsy bitsy postcard, which is fine. I mean, I think those like some itsy bitsy postcards could be really cute as well. Um, This present, these presents, I think I might use this. Let's see. You may not use all of these on camera today, but you can bet your bottom dollar I will be coming back and making some more of these later. These are so much fun.
just scanning through real quick. Sorry, I probably should have done this off camera. Um, I looked through these, but I didn't mark them. Uh, adorable. We, we have to make a postcard out of this. And actually, if you want to cut out the lights and like strew them on the postcard somehow, the snowflake. So it doesn't have to be just the image. You can actually cut out little things um, to embellish the postcards as well. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like this magazine was made for this project. And of course, you can use these to make pockets and tucks and whatever else you can think of. My biggest, um, adorable. Look at these bath salts. Um, my biggest tip would be make sure you're using your glue stick go light on the glue. Um, don't use wet white glue or else obviously your magazine pages will wrinkle. Um, go light on the glue and sew them to secure them uh, is what I would do. I think that gives you the best final product. Nick, look at this pumpkin gingerbread. How cute. All the family together. That would make a nice postcard. Um, make a postcard of this brownie and then cut this recipe out and put it on the back or like make a flip. So it's like a postcard recipe card almost. That could be really fun. Um, this is adorable. I have to, this is not really Christmas theme, but this lady with her dog, adorable. Oh my gosh, I just turned to this. Look at these buttercream cookies. Adorable. Ugh. Okay, I could flip through this all day and think of things to do with these images. I will spare you. Um, but, like, obviously this would have to be a gigantic postcard, but, like, imagine how adorable. And you could even just embellish with um, stickles or little uh, decorations that you have um, and just, like, embellish it um, and make it uh, a big postcard I'm trying to think of I had a, a bin of things but like I'm looking I have like sequins but imagine cutting out like a big postcard and like gluing some sequins onto this tree to decorate it and almost making it just like a 3d textured postcard or like some these little like bling like pearls you could decorate the tree with. So the possibilities are endless. Um, and this makes for an absolutely adorable project. Let's just see what Southern Living has real quick. And then we're going to get started. I don't think that I saw... Oh, I take that back. I was going to say, I didn't think I saw as many images in here that I loved. But oh, look at those trees. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Ah, oh, look at all these. Oh my gosh. These, these. Let's go ahead and get started. We have plenty of images. We don't need to sit here and look at these all day long. Okay, so let's decide of these what images we're going to be using. Um, 
And just remember, it's okay if it doesn't fit the page. We can collage stuff. We can um, add book pages to the background and, and make the image the focal point. There's so many things we can do. So I love this. I think we have to make this into a postcard. Have to. Okay. So this covers... I'm just sorry, I'm just gonna put this to the side. Okay, this covers most of the postcard. If you didn't like that white space there, you could line it with some book page, maybe some music paper, some sewing pattern would be an option. Um, we could even actually spruce this up and have like a little bit of doily sticking out on each side. Those are some options. I, I don't mind the white space. I don't mind it at all. So I want to try and get this image centered. And get an equal amount of white space on each side. putting the image down you want to be really careful to try and get out as many of the little air bubbles and crinkles and creases as you can. I don't know that I extended the glue far enough. I can go back and put more glue if we need but again I would I don't want this to look super gluey. Um, and wrinkly, I want to get it tacked down and then sew over it to secure it. Okay. So now we're gonna trim this. down. Get out of crinkles. Okay. Nice. I'm already liking the way that looks. Okay. Now, um, I want to just, I do want to ink this up a little bit. If I can find, where are you, Tomber? Here's the dropper. this, the City of Good Cheer. This might look really cute on here.
I like that. Okay. Question is, is if I want to maybe back it with something. I have this ribbon sitting on my desk. Maybe we'll add some ribbon to this, to each side. Oh, I really like that. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Alright, we can cover that up, no problem. See, these come together really quickly. Um, without a whole lot of fuss necessary. I mean, you can fuss over them a lot if you want, but... Um, you know, like... The printer has already done the work for you. Like, look at that gorgeous image, you know? And I have so many magazines just sitting around and they're taking up space and I need to start using them more. So. Okay. Oh, I would caution you. Ugh. I want to keep the back of this nice and clean and crisp. And of course, I have glue balls on my craft mat. Damn it. Um. I don't know. Maybe we can get that off when it dries. Yep. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Okay. Set that down there. Uh, until I clean up my crafting or my uh, craft mat like a good crafter. The good crafter I'm not. <laughs> okay. I really like this. Um, I'm just trying to think if we want to add a little touch of something. I'm gonna make like a little cluster in the corner. Oh, that's cute. Remember, we are gonna be sewing around this. Um, so I could put it on then. What about just a little tree there? like balance it out. So we have something on that side and then something on this side. Maybe too busy. Oh, that looks really pretty. Why 
don't we? You know what? I want to leave that as is. Okay. So, next on to the postcard part. Remember, this is what our postcard looks like. We have postcard on the back. Um, you don't have to write that if you don't want to. Um, the left side is where the sender can write a message. The right side is the address. And then up in the far right corner is the stamp in case you have forgotten. So I brought some stamps with me. Um, you can feel free to write out postcard. I have a stamp here that says postcard. Um, you can use stamps if you want. You can write whatever you would like. And then I really like the look of this marked stamp. You can draw the lines over your stamp, but it just kind of makes it look a little bit more real. Okay, and then you want to get um, a stamp of a stamp, or you can draw a stamp, or uh, we can um, create a stamp with some ridge scissors. Why don't we do that? We will create our own stamp. Okay, and they could be multi-layered. Um, I like that. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, okay. That's what we're going to use for our stamp. Okay, so since we kind of use some brown vintage hues, I think I'm going to stick to that for the ink on the back. Aside from our little line down the middle, you want to use a ruler or else it's not going to be straight. Uh, remember, you don't want to draw a line all the way down. You want to leave some room at the top. To write your or stamp postcard maybe about an inch from the top draw your line um, you can write your address here or if you want you can just use the entire back to journal on write a message whatever you would like to do I also like the idea of using um, actual Christmas photos um, and creating postcards out of them and then journaling memories on the back about the event or whatever your picture is of. And since I'm putting this little embellishment on top, um, it's you can't stamp any ink on this. I'm not going to use the little edge stamp on this this one. nice I love that all right so I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I will be right back
Okay guys, I'm back with some of the worst sewing. Uh, don't ask. I got distracted and somebody was trying to talk to me and you know, and this is what happened. Okay, not the best execution, but it is a pretty adorable postcard if you can get past the horrible stitching job. Okay. Um, I actually don't, if you don't like this, feel free to cut this off. Um, this produced by, I don't know, produced by, um, a lot of times postcards have like copyright info and like artist info, so I don't mind it. I don't think it makes it look any less like a postcard. Um, so I'm going to leave it. So I hope you guys are doing good. I hope your crafting projects are coming along good. I am working in my snow globe journal currently that we made. I actually have an almost empty journal I made from last year that I did not get to decorate or do anything with. So now I'm like, I have two journals to do now. Okay, remember, careful with the lay down. Don't rip, don't rip, don't rip, don't rip. And that was off at an angle. Um, and I don't, I don't want a bunch of creasing and stuff. Okay. All right, push out like from the center. Remember, no wet white glue. You will be so sad. Your images will look like trash. Aside from that, pretty much anything you do, these are gonna look cute. No wet white glue though, seriously. No wet white glue. Okay, let's trim this up. Adorable. A little bit of creasing in there, not too much. All right, let's ink this up. I think I want to do either a pink or brown. Do I have my pink out? Sorry, guys. I think this would look so cute with pink. Ah, pitch flamingo. That may be a little bit bright, but whatever. We're going to go for it. I'm sorry. All I have is my brown dollar. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I know, this pains many of you guys, I'm sorry. Sorry, just it is what it is right now. embellish this up um, I think like this look fabulous on here do we put fabric on postcards not really but you know what this is our postcard and we can do whatever we want with it oh yes 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 yes, yes. okay Oh my gosh, and it's the perfect length. It was just meant to go on here. All right, I know I said I am no wet white glue. It's okay for this, this little 
frilly thing. You're not going to see it under here anyways. Alternatively, you could just put some glue stick down there and tack it on real quick and then uh, sew over it later. I'm just wondering if I want to get... Maybe this glam holiday would would work. I don't want to cut into that though. Okay, hold on. I have some other images and things here we can glam this up with. We will figure something out. color scheme doesn't work. Just looking. Santa with Christmas greetings. That may work. Noel, let it snow. There really isn't any snow coming though. Look at all these cute little fussy cut images I have. December 26th. I could use this for the back. It's a postcard. With a stamp. Okay, that's an option. Sorry, I have uh, some other like fussy cut stuff next to me. I'm just looking at, thinking of using. A lot of this stuff I have over here is kind of like classic. It doesn't really fit with this like retro modern theme. This paper has going on. Here is kind of fabulous. Again, it doesn't really fit in. Okay, that's okay. Maybe we'll do. Oh, this is cute. Christmas greetings, howdy, Merry Christmas to each and all of you. Okay, and it doesn't deflect I would think away from the other stuff it's it's cute maybe we'll back it with a little bit of doily just to make it look even more fabulous than it already is doily's not working for me let's just glue this down i think this this image is so fabulous it just doesn't it doesn't need a whole lot i think it just it just needs to stand alone because it's just fabulous all right now let's do our little postcard thing Remember, in the middle. Okay. Ah, oh, this is so cute. I love this. Okay. Now we want to take our ruler. And we 
we want to go about an inch from the top. Okay. And let's get a stamp. In. Oh, you know what? I bet like backing a stamp with a little doily would be really cute. Oh, but you know what? Let's um let's color the doily just a little bit. Just give it some color. Oh yay! And it'll it'll pop against that uh it'll pop against that background. You know what? Maybe we'll just let's make a little stencil. Just It'll be really light. They, people can write over it. Okay, but just to give it a little something. Yeah. All right. Just look dirty. Why did I do that? You look. You guys let me do that. Okay. Well, um, let's see if we can make some more pink stand out. This, I was thinking subtle would look nice, but honestly, subtle just kind of looks dirty. It just looks like it got smudged because it's that brown because I'm a terrible crafter and I'm using the wrong dauber. Okay, that looks much better. It, it looks like a purposeful stencil and not just like it got drugged through the mud. <laughs> okay, so okay, so let's do our um, little stamp. Ooh, I like, what can we do with that song? ribbon. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm going with it. Now, let's Cut. I think any any like pre-cut stamps I have are gonna be too big. Oh, excuse me. Let's get some pink something something up in here. Um. Ooh. I have this paper pad. Look at this pink stuff. Oh heck. We're getting crazy today, guys. Absolutely crazy. Um, I want to use maybe either the 20... Yeah, the 25 is not going to be too um, too big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. How cute that little stamp is. Oh my gosh. This is so much fun. I really hope you're crafting along with me and are making these postcards because if you're not, you are just, you are really missing out. You are really missing out. Let's get, let's, where did that, um, ah, use this one. looking for my edges where's my 
Well, guys, if you could see my desk right now, this is this is crazy. Okay, um, I had a stamping block. I do not recall where it went. We're just gonna we're gonna move along then. Okay, get that in there. Okay, I don't want to cover the 25. So I'm just gonna. Oh, yes, perfect. Love. Look how cute. Can you guys see? Probably out of focus. Ah, oh, guys. Adorable. Adorable. Okay. All right, let's do one more. I'll sew this off camera and I'll show you at the end of the video how everything came out. But guys, like, come on. Like, how cute. Really. Just from a stupid magazine that honestly I was gonna chuck all right, you can find real treasures in there. I don't care what anyone says. Don't throw away your stuff. Okay. Um, let's see. You guys help me. Help me choose. What are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? Oh my gosh, I could, I could do this all day. It's a shame I have to go to work tomorrow and be a, be a productive member of society. Because I could just do this all day. Um, I, oh, this Santa mail is adorable. We got to do something like this. We just have to. It's calling our name. Okay. So let's get our postcard. Okay. And let's decide what we want to do here do we want to focus it there do we want to put it down here and do something up top um what do we want to do Think. I'm just looking at my other embellishments here and kind of figuring out. Oh, there's my stamp block. Um, just trying to look and see what else might go along well with this Santa mail. Oh, this is cute. This is the little girl asking, is it Christmas yet? <laughs> oh. That's really cute. Um, do a picture of the children. Yeah, why don't we do that? Like a picture of Santa with all the kids. Okay. glue stick we're gonna commit and we're just gonna put it down and do it gonna put it down and do it not sure what we're gonna do with the rest of the white space but we will figure it out have some other like joy and oh wow oh look no oh, that might be too much um I do think it kind of looks cool to have Santa there it doesn't fit it doesn't fit I mean the theme it fits on the postcard I don't know. Um, maybe we should go with our original plan. It's not too much. It doesn't detract from the image we already have. Let's do it. Oh, the other, you know, the other thing, well, I am going to put this down. 
uh, but we could put some like use some washi to kind of frame this a little bit better why don't we do that let's frame our image a little bit we need to trim this a little bit better Put your when you're crafting like grab a couple um rolls of washi and just put it next to you and you'll find it's because i've been accumulating this washi tape that's because it's like in a bin and i never bring it out and if i just put a couple rolls on the desk next to me i remember it's there i remember to use it and uh, like it's so handy um and yeah got to have it in front of you or else you forget you have it. All right, let's frame one more. Frame this side. This is going to look good with the um, thread that I currently have in my sewing machine. my dauber if you guys could see my desk right now you would understand why I'm losing everything every five seconds it's a disaster we didn't ink this that's okay you don't have to um, I do like the ink look especially since it's kind of like I'm going for like old-timey postcards I got a crinkle Maybe I'll do something related to mailing on the front um, since this is like a Santa mail postcard. She's actually mailing a letter to Santa, which is adorable. Oh, wait, look what I have here with Christmas greetings. That's like mail related. Oh, yes, I love that. We have something on the top, something on the bottom. It kind of balances each other out. It's not too busy. We left a little bit of white space, but not too much white space. So you see, you don't necessarily have to um, have an image that perfectly fits the postcard. You can work around that. Okay. Oh, that is so cute. Um, just accentuate this a little bit. I love this. My black uh, Stabilo pencil. I could use pencil sharpener, but God knows, I'll never find that on this desk right now. Probably die in an avalanche, so just let it go. What Christmas projects are you guys working on? Please put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear. If you guys have any ideas for um, just ephemera embellishments you're working on, projects you're working on, I love hearing about it because I love seeing what you guys are doing, what everyone else is doing. 
when I feel like I'm just kind of hit a block, it really inspires me to see what everyone else is doing. A lot of times that like sparks creativity for me. Um, With Christmas greetings. That's adorable. Okay, let's get our postcard stamp. It's right where I left it. Oh, you know what actually would be really cute? I know what we're gonna do with this Santa. Okay, where's my ruler? An inch or so from the top. Okay, we're gonna put our stamp on, but look at this, look how cute. You know, um, two is over here. So instead of writing in uh, addressy, why don't we just put a picture of Santa there? Like clearly this postcard is going to Santa. Like, come on, how cute. I wonder if I have like a North Pole stamp or something like that. Um, oh my gosh, it's going to be like a lot of looking for me. Um, just do joy. You can also put like sentiments and things on the other side. Um, that's where people would typically write their correspondence if you don't like your handwriting especially if you're like me um you may want to just put some sentiments or a picture or something like that kind of looking for something that's like santa related Joy to the world. That would be really cute. I kind of wanted to find a North Pole one, but it's not going to happen today. Not on this desk of mine. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just do... Let's do that. Oh, look at this. Make my dream come true. We have to use that. Okay, let's try and do this carefully. Um, and let's back that with something. Um, About the silver. It's kind of magical, right? Let's make sure it shows. I normally never just put washi tape down, but we're sewing over it. Um, so it's not a huge deal. I think it'll hold up just fine. Maybe one more. So it is kind of a long stamp. Okay. Let's trim that. Oh, that 
is so cute. Here, let's um, cover that up a little bit. Okay guys, I'm taking these to the, the sewing machine and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back with our finished uh, sewn postcards. Like I said, you don't necessarily have to sew them. I just think the sewing adds such a nice touch and it also allows you to use less glue, which is always a good thing when you're using magazine images. But here's the final product. Again, terrible sewing, but everything else came out um, like adorable. I did get a little creasing there. If you do, you know, it's okay. It's just a little crease. You could cover it. Or if you have a lot of creases, just embrace it, accentuate it. Maybe go over with um, your dauber, dip it in some ink, go over the creases a little bit um, to accentuate and give it that distressed, vintagey look and just kind of play it up a little bit. This is my favorite, if you guys couldn't tell. Even this one is adorable too. This little girl mailing her letter to Santa. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you are hard at work in making some postcards of your own. I can't wait to put these in my journals and use them to journal some memories on, uh, just write on recipes, anything that you can think of. Um, so I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe to Ink and Papyrus. My videos come out on Monday and Fridays, and I can't wait to see you the next time.